this is the pile of rock we gotta work with we already have uh, a lot of it we got some really really nice ones here so this is gonna look cool we're gonna need more than that though but this is just to start with so. let's go welcome to heiner outdoor living we're a team of yardists taking boring cookie cutter yards and transforming them into one of a kind backyard retreats Join us as we bring quality, passion, and fun to yards all across the Colorado Front Range, inspiring life outside. What's up guys, we are back at this in Campbell's. It's starting to look like a blank canvas again, finally. So uh, we're getting all this stuff hauled up, hauled away, and now we'll be able to come in. Uh, next up, we'll start staking things out, really figure out where the hardscape's gonna go so we can start getting those pads poured and then we'll be able to bring in all the rest of you know the rest of the landscape so we've got inch and a quarter gas line we'll put our quart tin steel uh, custom Heiner fire pit right here right here in the middle so that way we got the the fire and water action this is gonna be the, the chill spot for sure okay, I'm standing in the middle of where the pond is gonna go so we've got the fire pit patio over here we got the Sun deck over here um, Next up is this pond. So we've got Omar. We're gonna get him down here to put his uh, touch and craft on this. And this is gonna be awesome because we'll be able to start over there and then we'll have like the upper pond infiltration coming into the main pond body. And then we'll have uh, uh, Skimmer Cove over here. And this is just gonna be awesome. I cannot wait. As you can see, Omar, we've got the fire pit patio right there. And you can see that there's a wood lip going around the edge over here. Mm -hmm. And then I've got something similar over here okay. that's buried under the soil. So we're gonna do one of our uh, patio edges, pond edges right here. Mm -hmm. And um, what's happening throughout this is, you know, I've already built a wall that's going down um, 36 inches. So it's going past frost. It's on a footer. All we got to do is attach our liner on that, and then uh, we're going to take flagstone and lean it up against it once it's all installed. We've got the slope starting up over here, so our waterfalls will start where those aspens are, mm -hmm. coming around this way. It's going to pool to an upper ponding area right here. Mm -hmm. We'll have the wetland filtration right in this area. We'll have the upper ponding here, and then this will stream here, and then it's gonna open up into the big pond area right here. We'll be bridging this mm -hmm. with a piece of corrugated steel. These will bend over, and this will become a solid piece, okay. and we'll have a stone bridge going across this. So this will all be seamless art that coming across. Exactly. Cool, yeah, so, yeah, this is, this is super cool. Um, um, what else we have here, Matt, that you, you want well, me to be aware of? Let's paint it out. Dude, this is a fun shape. I feel like, you know, we're really uh, pushing the limits or, or just uh, moving that, uh, that target of, of what ponds should and can be. You know, with this one, we're really bringing the, you know, the resort life to pond life and just taking this industry to a whole nother level with it. So there is a slight slope for drainage on the, uh, so your water level is gonna be higher up over here and lower over here. So um, 
full of food. There is, there is a little bit. Whoa. There is a little bit. I couldn't build my patio yeah. perfectly level. I, I needed some, some, so plan for that accordingly. Can up your hours right now. All right, Omar. How many hours do you think this will take? This will take. It will probably take me just for the fun. It will take me at least. And keep in mind, also in your scope are so a little bit of the retaining walls and the retaining walls going around the side and doing some grading. Um, 700 hours. 700 hours? Yeah. All right, I gave you 914 hours. Okay. This is gonna be a good one to start challenging yourself to let go and to lead your team and train them because most of these rocks are a relatively same shape. They don't have uh, like the character that uh, Salome brings where they're you know very specific size or shape. So there's still gonna be some ones. So I would still challenge yourself to figure out how you can streamline that so you're not getting in and out. So maybe what you do is spend 30 minutes and just pick out some select ones that you know you wanna do for certain things and have an operator just set those aside. Let's get more straps ordered so that way we've got them all here. So that way, you know, there's you have six to choose from. And so you can tell them which one and they've got something that's gonna be close. And then maybe you line up those ones that you have and just be like, hey, bring me boulder, bring me that third boulder there uh, that you've already set aside. And then they can strap that, bring that down. You know what you're doing. And you can put that puzzle piece together with these rocks. Okay. I wanna try doing that. Try my best. You're gonna do great. I know you will. Let it go. <laughs> okay. Be like Elsa. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> Green, green side up, please don't, let's not mess it up this time. Let me write time. that right. down, man. <laughs> Let me write that before I forget. <laughs> Here's your paint. <laughs> How are we doing on those hours, Ethan? Uh, we're doing great. Yeah. I believe we're way under as of now. How many we used? Several dozen. How many you got? I've got several dozen left. Oh my god. <laughs> those are some great I, answers. They're killing me. I don't know what to do with these guys anymore. <laughs> Just let it go. Uh, Just let it go. <laughs> Ethan is cranking on the front yard. We got sod going in today. We just checked in on all the hardscape. The masons are wrapping up for now and we are ready to come in and start building this pond. This is going to be an epic part of the process and the project so stay tuned. We got lots more to do and it's going to be awesome. I can't wait to share it with you.